Of course, the future generations probably uh, the children of, of passengers flying with us right now. So uh, the more passengers fly with us today, uh, and especially with the small kids, uh, the more guarantee we've got they will travel with us. Uh, children are smarter than we are. They are much more effective in using uh, IT tools. Uh, therefore, they are tougher customer because they, they will be more demanding. But if we deliver what they need, we as the airlines uh, will win them. So uh, then again, tailor-made product, uh, understanding customer needs, uh, understanding the young generation needs will uh, in the future make them are loyal customers without bundling them into the loyalty programs. Future generation is there. I mean, there is a different uh, type of uh, customer segments. We service to many different segments, either via far leisure, business, uh, or the, the youth. Uh, even a specific customer um, is actually requesting different type of services when they fly on leisure for example or when they fly uh, on business so this may even change uh, on, on the basis of their travel purposes so what we do is actually we don't dictate any type of uh, services to our customers we just uh, give them the option to select uh, from the answers from the services where we uh, we just offer and then they can just grab whatever they like Future generation of airline travellers, we call it Generation EasyJet. EasyJet has an open door policy to everybody who wants to fly in Europe, whether it's holidays, whether it's business, whether it's visiting friends, whether it's going to a second home. We literally fly everybody and the great advantage that we have from our low prices and our fantastic service is that just you know, Europe's customers will all come to our door because it just makes absolute sense to begin to do it. So essentially it's everyone who wants to fly in Europe, that's who we're looking to attract. Well, the future generation of, of, of travelers, I guess, are even more diverse than today's situation already is. And even one person today could have the wishes to buy all the extra things on the flight he can imagine. And tomorrow he may want to go for the lowest possible fare, but still under the full service umbrella. If we look at that, it further re-emphasizes the need to have a more choice and control approach and to make sure that the journey gives all the opportunities to meet up to the expectation of the customers. This bar is set very, very low in Africa. We have significant reliability issues, major safety issues. The infrastructure, um, the aviation infrastructure can be somewhat challenging in terms of terminal usage and, and, and so on. And so we set out to fly to European standards of safety and security. And so, you know, we have Western mentality to, to, to safety. We use um, very well-known international standards, uh, MROs, for example, um, and we fly on time. So in Africa, you pitch up whenever you want, and the aircraft will be there because it's kind of waiting for you, really. With us, we're different. We stick to our schedules. And as a consequence, initially, we left a few people behind that have pitched up too late for check-in. But similarly, we have a 96% on-time departure record, which in Africa is... Is, is, is paradigm shifting. We're, we're hoping to catch them when they're young, when they're going with their parents. And we certainly recognize the changing uh, technological view that people have. And obviously, uh, children, teenagers, and young adults are super critical to our business. So we need to be relevant for them. And, and as well as uh, the other customers that we serve, the other customer segments over the years. So everybody is important in one way, shape, or form. We just need to make sure that we're relevant to them.